he actually caught that jump with that uh, blade being Jesus. Yo, man, options man. covered. Covered. Well, covered. You got to go low, basically, yep. is what he said. Yeah, and that's the great thing about the blade beam usage there. Spargo forcing a specific recovery pattern. And after that, just going to go ahead and execute on that Firefox. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Smash, he knows exactly what he's doing. Pretty fragile lead, but one he'll certainly take. Light looking for a lot of these roll-in on the tech chase situations, and Spargo is not doing it to late. Not at all. Because usually the mentality behind that is, oh, you're playing, oh my god. Two steps ahead. Using these back airs, bro. <laughs> Might be a little bit tougher to get that happening. Oh my gosh. Every single time, 18% off of that climb has oh it at man, he just feeding them ad dodges. Spago no. hungry right now, you just feeding the boy. Oh my! The way of the week, already 70 damage on the board, and potentially counting. No banana for the last one. Boy, she can't for the bad. Something that was against Light too. when you play against someone who's switchy, you play a fast character of Light, Clouds, and Fox, you gotta be careful when you pull those out. You take you damage, you get knocked off the stage. Like that! Oh. Bait with a clear mind and definitely flowing and going right now, just ripping through a cola, just trying to get some space between them. But that's one thing about Spargo, man. Space is not an option when this guy oh. head hunting. Yeah, I mean, a cola oh, really just—he's not really. I mean, he's got this. He's got resources. He has yeah. been mining, so at the very least, you know, you, you can't say that he's getting uh, stopped from mining, but he just oh, can't hit wow. the ground, though. What a beautiful air, right? To air to air, oh. and of course, we got the calligraphy. Let's get it. Started the Steve up rising, but. Things are kind of settled back down as people have adjusted, as you said, learning the matchup. Mm -hmm. Sakurai's playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Sakurai, I was like, you, you people are foolish. I knew I was right. I, I always knew. <laughs> You're all dumb. <laughs> Learn the matchup, you gyms. <laughs> Oh, so the matchup wow. is being learned. This oh, man is man. eating some back airs. Okay, does get enough drip. Luckily, I mean, that's the one good thing that, uh, one of the good things that Steve has. I mean, he can recover from quite a bit of areas and also stall out his recovery with the amount of options he had. Assuming he wow. has the resources Bro. early. Uh, actually, here's yeah. a projectile. So, what's really good? One that's going to take the stock as well. Does end up getting himself another uh, another diamond, but is it going to matter? Ooh. Oh, okay. we're fine. Oh, trying to get the high border to get the spike down. Spargo is a shark in the water, and there is so There's blood much everywhere. blood. Yes, <laughs> like, There's literally blood everywhere. Man, it's like Spargo is just relentless with this pressure. All these boxes get torn down immediately. No space for Cola to set up anything, get any mining done. I like that because it destroyed the crafting table yeah, as well. Yeah. Multi-purpose. Oh, oh, I think he's done. Yeah. What a display, by the way, from Gluto. Like the patience, the way that he outpaced Spargo in the way of patience is really, really hard to do. But Gluto, obviously, veteran of the game, been around the block. He does what he has to do to get the W here, Cooper. Yeah. Again, you saw the game started for him. A strong start for Gluto, but yeah. So Spargo is almost immediately able to close the gap. So you know, it wasn't like a lot of the same. <laughs> or it's actually the, quite the opposite here. As Spargo's the one that's got off to a solid start here. With a big swing. He's pissed. He's mad, dude. He's one of those players that plays better when he's mad. You know what I mean? Sometimes it holds people back, but, dude, he just starts yeah. chopping away. Sometimes you get more brave when you're mad, man. <laughs> Let's see what Ludo's answer is going to be here. It's been lapped in percent, uh, you know, currently. So, oh, mercy! A big hit here. Ooh, okay. Not going to get the, uh, the tech read there. And right. again, Spargo adding on a lot of damage. He's up there. Foder coming out to play once again, Asman. Over there, nice, good retaliation there. Fight back. Ooh. All right, trying to find the thing. Oh, there we go. So far behind. Now, this is an area where Light can you know, kind of move and groove and find himself some good uh, damage off these platforms with these lower percentages. But has to find it first. Has to find that stray hit to lead into it. Oh, catch. They're free. Stray hits, man. He is, he's taking about a lot of stray hits, man. Wow. Please. Yo, get grabbed. Mm. Going to the ledge oh, here. Oh, Light so what, yo, easily hey. this man. I mean, like, I think this is a good one. You got to play him. You got to play him. You got to play the person that's playing him. And Sky is a very unique individual. Can't say you know the Rosa matchup, but never played a buzz. Oh, you know? man. No, touch me. That neutral beat. Oh, going to yeah. push him up the darkest of Larry. It's so strong. There We're going to throw again. it out again. Get off. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. no. I saw that coming oh, 10 no. years ago. Too late. As Sky J almost closes out another one. Tries to go for the cat splash again. Yet again, the Nair just missing that time. Spargo, his time to shine right now. Throwing out the back heads. Any type of pressure. Lays off only the two hits of the side B. But again, the Nair. Hitting this time, say it with your chest for real. Oh, 
every single time. Watch out, I know, right? <laughs> oh, wow. The spacing on that was immaculate. Going over the banana with a back air, too. Craziness. Yeah, it felt like Cloud's legs faded into the ether for that one. Spargo not going to complain about it, though. He's still a little bit behind, but the ledge oh, traps are intact. How did he intact. turn around that fast off that back air to get that ledge get up? Like, that was so fast. Yeah. His reactions are so quick, but now it's Tweak's turn. There we go. He's got to get him off stage. All right, the banana now in hand. Look at that. See, that's the nice. thing. You were talk talking about that a little bit. No buttons pressed. The movement between these two players is so crucial. And that's really what sets great players apart from top players, yeah. is that key movement. Well, the movement and then also not choosing to do anything is a choice. Like yeah. sitting and waiting and not getting anything is so important, especially when your opponent is Spargo and Tweaky. I watch yourself Ooh. here, though. I love oh. anyway for down air. This is the standard narrative to throw out. I'm going to be, that's going to be the one that edge guards me, but Spargo fades just back a little bit. He's like, you know what? I'm going to take a trade, though. Exactly. I'm going to take that trade. Really just leveraged his stock to get a whole advantage. I mean, that was just brilliantly played on his part. Now, Alex getting no. absolutely tossed. Oh, my goodness. Spargo, yeah. please. Yeah, I get the follow-up that he wants, though. But he that's what I always like about Spargo. I feel like he, he can be put in a very, like, disadvantageous position. He's yeah. like, I'm, I'm going to swing out regardless, yeah, bro. That's true, man. That, that blade is big for a reason. I might as well use it. <laughs> He's always watching, man. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right, Cola, the best player in Japan, unfortunately actually had to fight up against T to qualify into top eight. Bit of a team KO there, but the oh, very last lap wow. because of the crafting table. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> the extension. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wait. That boy's swinging. 